Should you buy a Windows laptop or a MacBook? Well, the choice could be very tough and both systems have their positives and negatives. So I'm gonna go over everything and make it very easy. Now, a few years ago, I would absolutely say MacBook, but ever since Apple started making their own chips, it forced Windows laptops to really step it up. And now these machines are actually way more compelling. Now, of course, if your budget is 300 bucks, Apple doesn't have anything that will compete with that. So I'm gonna be focusing on a little bit more powerful computers. I have this Lenovo here, which is an amazing bang for the buck with a powerful i9 processor and RTX 4070 graphics. And I'm gonna be talking about a few different Macs and PCs as well. Starting off with design, Windows laptops has gotten a lot better. This Lenovo is super sturdy. It looks nice, slightly gamerish, but it feels way better than what we had in the past. And of course, with the Macs, we have a very similar aluminum clean design. And one area where PC laptops usually win are the ports. Apple limits you, they want you to pay more. Whereas most Windows laptops have USB-A ports still, and this one has a bunch. It even has them in the back so you can get them out of the way so connectivity is better. Now with that, Windows laptops sometimes have smaller batteries, but they are getting better. And this Lenovo has a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery, which is the maximum you could put on an airplane. And because of that, the battery life can be better. But with that as well, we have this massive power brick compared to the small ones on an Apple MacBook. Now that is because more powerful Windows laptops use a lot more wattage and they need that power and we'll talk about performance on battery in just a bit. You also typically get better bang for the buck because this thing comes with a terabyte of SSD, 16 gigs of RAM compared to MacBooks where you have to pay extra and Apple rips you off like crazy. And what I love even more about Windows laptops are that many of them will let you upgrade them and some just have extra slots. So for example, here for about 50 bucks, I can add 16 more gigs of RAM and pop it in leaving the original one there. And same thing with the SSD, there's an extra slot. So I can pop it in myself and for about 50 bucks, make it a two terabyte. Whereas Apple will charge you an arm and a leg for their upgrades. And then it's all soldered in. So you can never change it later. You might just have to sell your machine to get one that has more performance. Now the SSDs are also very fast on the new Windows laptops. Whereas in the past, MacBooks used to be much faster. But one area where I've noticed a big difference is in real world transfer speeds, where the whole system really slows down compared to using the same drive on a Mac. With that, another cool thing Windows laptops allow you to do is to use eGPUs like this one from our partner SGW Zone. This eGPU is very unique because of how tiny it is compared to the huge eGPUs most people are used to that have to stay at your desk. We have the 3D printed prototype, whereas the final will be aluminum and they will also provide an Oculink module. The reason it's so small is because it uses a GAN power supply with 240 watts of power, meaning you could take it with you anywhere to upgrade your thin laptop for better gaming, rendering, and AI computing. Inside, we have an AMD RX 6600M, which beats out the M3 and can improve your thin laptop's performance, and an NVIDIA RTX 4060 and 3070 will be available. All you do is plug in with Thunderbolt and you get a Thunderbolt, USBs, and display outputs with 8K60 and 4K120 support, plus this custom customizable LCD screen, which is a first for an eGPU. It is universal and also less expensive than other eGPUs. So check out this thin gaming and AI box by using the link down in the video description. As for displays, MacBooks are better most of the time, especially the higher end ones that have mini LED screens. Now you can get OLEDs on Windows laptops and those are nice, but they're still very reflective. So in the daytime, the blacks can actually look more gray than the MacBook and this Lenovo has an LCD display. They've gotten more accurate over time, but it is a matte display and it makes it look less sharp, even though it has good resolution. Now the higher end MacBooks also have ProMotion, so it's very smooth, but with that, it can actually lower down the refresh rate to save battery life. Whereas this is 240 Hertz, but you can only drop it to 120 or 60. So you can never get a variable. You have to just choose, do you want worse battery life 
or do you want smoother display? And I'll talk about battery life in just a sec. The webcams on MacBooks are typically better as well, especially now that they're mostly 1080p. With that, the speakers are also better as well. Even a thin MacBook will be louder and sound better than thick Windows laptops because Apple puts a big focus on it. Go ahead and listen to this comparison. <laughs> Now, one area where Windows laptops exceed are the programs that are compatible. Mac supports less, and there are some exclusives like Logic and Final Cut, but on the Windows side, DaVinci Resolve is so good now, it's actually better, and there are certain programs that just don't run on a Mac. Same thing with games. If you want a game, the Windows PC is definitely the better way to go. Getting into downsides, we have to talk about fan noise and temperatures. Macs like to run hot because Apple wants them to be quiet, whereas Windows laptops, the fans could be running just by turning on a program or opening the laptop. And for higher performance ones like this Lenovo, they have great cooling systems. And to get the most performance, you have to be in performance mode. And then they sound like a jet taking off because they can use up to 80 watts of power on the system compared to 22 watts on an equivalent Mac. Now, as far as performance, they are actually not too far off when you're comparing to similar price points. Intel has made processors that are way more performant now, even though they take a lot of power, and the graphics with NVIDIA are extremely fast. In our 4K gaming test, we got 142 FPS compared to 79, and even exporting video took a minute and five seconds compared to a minute and 21. And then in raw graphics performance, it gets 16 FPS for denoising compared to nine. That is almost double the performance, and the NVIDIA cards are just incredible now. So if you wanna get bang for the buck in terms of raw power, well, they are very good. Now, Macs are optimized for certain things, and of course, if you spend a lot more money, they will beat out the Windows laptop. But if you're looking at similar price points, well, the Windows will get you a better price as long as you are plugged in. And this is where I get to probably the biggest downside for me personally with Windows laptops that are on the more powerful end. You get great performance when you're plugged in, but if you unplug it, it can go south fast. In Geekbench, we got 10,711 compared to 12,100, and that is in the most powerful performance mode on this laptop, which this laptop actually holds up way better than a lot of other laptops I've tested. And in terms of graphics performance, we went from 11,800 to 8,100, so that's a big dip in terms of rendering. And then for gaming performance or for other graphics tasks, we went from 140 42 FPS down to 75, which is worse than a binned slower 14 inch M2 Pro. And in photo editing, instead of taking a minute and 19 seconds, took a minute and 46 compared to a MacBook, which costs the same, that takes 45 seconds, regardless if it's plugged in or on battery. So even with the most expensive MacBooks, if you're unplugged, you're still gonna get the same performance. And with Windows laptops, even in a medium range, they slow down. But if you looked at a $4,000 Windows laptop, for example, a razor blade with the OLED screen, that thing dumps performance even more than this one. So if you like to use your laptop unplugged on the go on an airplane, well, the Mac is way better. And this is where we have to get into battery life. The M3 Mac 16 inch got over 17 hours compared to nine hours with an equivalent Dell XPS. Even with a large battery, that just shows you guys the difference. And that is in balance mode where it will try to save power. Whereas on the Mac, you just leave it in auto. If you need the performance, it'll give it to you or it could save battery. Battery. Now it gets way worse if you really start pushing the system. That XPS will last two hours compared to six on the MacBook, and because it's unplugged, it will be a lot slower as well. With this Lenovo, I was at about 50% battery, and just having the system on gave me a little more than an hour, and then when I started doing some photo editing, it showed me 35 minutes when I'm in the performance mode. 
And like I showed you in that mode, it is still way slower than a Mac. And with that, we should talk about resale value because a Mac can be similarly priced depending on what you're buying or more expensive, especially if you start doing Apple's ridiculous upgrades. But in the long term, people are still selling 10 year old MacBooks, five year old MacBooks and getting a good amount of money for them where it is so hard to sell a Windows laptop after the first couple of years. Trust me, I sell these machines after I test them and use them and it is so hard to sell and you get barely anything. So in the long run, a Mac can actually be cheaper. But if you know exactly what you need, if you care about performance, and you might not care as much about the speakers and the display, you're gonna keep it plugged in. You're gonna get a lot more value from the Windows laptop, especially if you have certain programs or games that you wanna use, which you might not be able to on a Mac. So there you guys go. Let me know your thoughts and questions down in the comments section below. Click that circle to subscribe and check out one of those great videos right over there. This has been Max and I'll see you in the next one.